What's up, y'all? This is R. Uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a video for y'all to show you how you can move files from Logic when you're working in Logic, and then move that over to Pro Tools if you're dealing with a Pro Tools session. If you're going to a studio, uh, it's gonna use just Pro Tools. Okay, so here's a track I did in Logic. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to insert a measure here. So bring this to bar 2 and uh, control Apple Z. And that's going to insert a measure to silence. And that's also under insert, insert silence between locators. And then put this back out to 9 bars here. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to export all the tracks as audio files, and that's Shift Apple E, and uh, just going to save this to the desktop. Name this after the track here, and you want to do this as WAV file as well. And so we'll do a new folder for it. Name it after the track. Oh. I almost forgot. Uh, what you also want to do is set the length of your song down here. So if not, it's going to export all those bars. I'm going to set that to 9. export these six tracks here. Uh, one thing else I want to look at uh, before we go into Pro Tools is your tempo, which uh, set at 85 right now. That's going to be really important when we go into Pro Tools. Uh, once it's finished exporting, we'll jump over to Pro Tools and we'll get them imported there. All right, before we get into Pro Tools, one thing else we need to uh, do is let's name our files before we import them into Pro Tools. So if I jump over to the Finder here, you can see it exported it as just instrument 1 through 6. So what we want to do is look back in Logic and just line that up. So let's uh, name these here. Super strings. This is my lead two. And we get the kick in the snare. Alright, got those names and we are ready to go into Pro Tools now. Okay, so now we've got a uh, blank session open here in Pro Tools. Uh, first thing we want to do is set the tempo to what the tempo was in Logic, you know, which was 85. Uh, if we import that session from 85 into Pro Tools, at that BPM of 120, it's just going to screw everything up. Uh, Shift Apple I. Desktop. Yeah, I'm gonna take all these files here that we just exported from Logic and save them to the audio files folder for the session. And give it a second to process this here. All right. Then what we're gonna do is uh, we put on a new track. Uh, location gonna be the session start. 
go. I'm going to bring this out some. Okay. Now, Logic exports. Uh, Logic does some files in stereo. We'll only do them in stereo. That's fine. If we want to split those into mono, we just uh, select that track. And come up here to track and just split into mono. And that way we can keep just the left and delete the stereo and the right. We want to uh, get rid of the stereo files. So we got our tracks we've exported from Logic, got them imported to Pro Tools now. Yeah. So my grid here to bar. Uh, we got the bar of silence that we inserted here. Which, uh, if you don't do that, Pro Tools can cut off some of the beginning there when you import it. Alright, so we'll select all that. Uh, we're going to leave that bar out. And Apple D to duplicate. And we should have a clean loop here. And there you go. So, that's how you move files from Logic, uh, export from Logic, import them to Pro Tools. Now you can save this session, take it to a Pro Tools studio and use it.